Hey guys, as you can see, a lot has changed. So there we have the wood. 11 pieces of 38 by 228 wooden boards for the floor. As you can see, the felt is horribly dry. We've got our generator, all the tools, you know, refreshments. So let's get building. Yesterday we didn't do that much filming because it was quite a lot of work to be done. It got the wood to site, um, we had to get all the wooden slabs up here to form the decking, which was quite a hassle, um, and then also of course cutting all the pieces together, which we did a little bit yesterday and a little bit today. Um, and also then we thought about doing a video or just doing a catch up last night, but it unfortunately we didn't bargain out, but there was quite a big rainstorm. So we had our first big rainstorm last night, um, which I'm very thankful for. We've been waiting for it for quite a while. Um, we're just a bit worried about what is left at the tree house because we did leave all the equipment um, up there. So now we will just have to go up and save the damage and take it from there. But just let me give you guys a look. Everything is soaking wet. Okay, so by the looks of things, everything is still normal. The generator is not underwater left that here last night and my floor is still in place let me just move a bit so the big thing was that what I was scared of because the wind was blowing quite badly last night was that this was actually gonna fly off but I see it didn't which is great okay so we decided to make myself a cup of coffee now let me quickly explain to you yesterday I made a bit of a balls up here because my oh, sorry. so my measurements were out quite a bit for this one I actually 
I wasn't thinking and I just made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, so now I'm going to have to salvage what is left. So luckily it's not a lot of work. So I'm just going to cut this one in so that the cable runs in here and that this center pole actually fits in there. Same with that one. Then hopefully it'll work out and then I can actually start spacing these boards in properly and start drilling the holes and then just tightening the platform. But as you can see, we've got a little platform going here and it's a bit cronky. And there's somebody's feet. So yeah, that's actually where we hooked up the GoPro. <laughs> just check out this morning. Okay, so we finished up quite a bit of the floor. I'll see if I can show you. There we go, cut that in over there. I've got the rest of the boards, I've got my tools. And see, this is where I made a no no. I cut this piece over here um, in the incorrect place. So now that's in. And I had to drill, I don't know if you can see there. I had to drill holes for the bolts to come through on this last one. This one took quite a lot of time, but the rest actually slotted in quite nicely. Hi. So excuse the Bushman look, but we are going to pack up for now, kind of come back later. We're going to go watch the rugby. Okay, just came back from the rugby. Um, we won, we're going through to the finals. I don't know if you can see that, hope everything focuses. Um, so yeah, we're going to, it's about quarter past one now, so we're just going to carry on up until around about 3, 30, 4 o'clock we can the treehouse. Um, so yeah, I'm very stoked that we're going through two through to the finals, playing England next week. So I'm stoked. <laughs> yes, uh, at the moment, we just have to cut in a couple of holes to put in the floorboard. Because as you can see over here, these cables are actually going to press it up against the wood. So I'm just going to cut in a little bit like this. To allow that it actually shifts in and that it all fits quite snugly and it's very hot and I'm sweating like crazy so far which I'm quite chuffed about and I think it was quite an eventful weekend so now all we still have to do is still bolt the ends of the floor or the wooden slabs down and put in some screws just to keep it everything level so yeah so thanks for watching 